Use the chain rule to find dz dt, where z is equal to 2x times cosine of y, where x is equal to t to the fifth, and y is equal to 6t squared. So the first thing I want to do here, and again, this is optional as you begin to feel more comfortable, but let's start, let's create a, a tree diagram here for the chain rule. So we're going to create ourselves a little tree diagram to determine what the formula is. So we're always starting with the initial variable z, or however your function is defined. So looking at this given function, z, we can see that it is in terms of x and y. So z is a function of both x and y. And then looking at x here, we can see that x is a function of t. So create another branch. And then we have y is equal to 6t squared. So y is also a function of t. So each one of these little branches represents the partial derivative relating those two variables. So this first branch here is the derivative of the function with respect to x. And then this branch here is the derivative of x with respect to t. So taking the product of those two partial derivatives, I have the partial derivative of the function with respect to x times the derivative of x with respect to t plus our second branch here. So this is the derivative of the function connecting z to y, so the partial derivative of the function f with respect to y. And then this second branch here is the derivative of y with respect to t. So we take the product of those, we have the partial derivative of the function with respect to y times the derivative of y with respect to t. So that is going to give us the derivative dz dt. And again, if you don't like that differential notation here, you can use the subscript z sub t. So this is our chain rule for this function. So now that we see the chain rule formula that we need, we're ready to find the partial derivatives. So find all partial derivatives. Again, if we're starting with this function, z is equal to 2x times cosine of y, we're going to have the partial derivative of this function with respect to x is equal to 2 times 1 times cosine of y. And then the partial derivative of this function with respect to y is going to be 2x, we're holding that as a constant, the derivative of cosine leaves us with a minus sine of y. And so we can really just go right ahead and rewrite this as minus 2x sine of y. So there are our two first order partials with respect to x and y. And now we want to find the derivative of x and y with respect to t. So we have x defined as t to the fifth. So the partial derivative of x with respect to t is just 5t to the fourth. And then the partial derivative of, or the derivative really, of y, where y is equal to 6t squared, the derivative of y with respect to t is 12t. So all of the hard work is done here, and we're ready to now go ahead and plug these partial derivatives into the chain rule formula. So we are ready to apply the chain rule. And again, just like we saw above, we know that dz dt is defined as the partial derivative with respect to x times the derivative of x with respect to t plus the partial derivative with respect to y times the derivative of y with respect to t. So substituting in what we just found, we have dz dt is equal to 2 
cosine of y multiplied by 5t to the fourth plus, well, actually, shame on me, it should be minus from that partial derivative with respect to y, minus 2x times sine of y multiplied by 12t. And so let's simplify this a little bit before we substitute in. So I have 2 times 5 is 10, t to the fourth, times cosine of y, and then we'll have minus 24t times x times sine of y. So we can't stop here, right? because we want to keep in mind, this, this question is asking us to find the derivative of z with respect to t. So what we need to do now to simplify is to replace each one of these x's and y's with their function in terms of t. So looking back at our given question here, we know that x of t is t to the fifth, and that y of t would be 6t squared. So we are now substituting or rewriting in terms of t. So dz dt is equal to 10t to the fourth times cosine of 6t squared minus 24t multiplied by t to the fifth times sine of 6t squared. And then we just have our two terms here that need to be simplified. We can combine those for a beautiful final answer of 10t to the fourth times cosine of 6t squared minus 24 times t to the sixth sine of 6t squared. And so this will be our beautiful final answer. And again, you could simplify it by factoring out a greatest common factor here of 2t to the fourth, but this is beautiful too. This answer is perfectly acceptable.